I always suggest that draw such graphs. Once put x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, this graph intersects as at 0, 50. Once put y is equal to 0, when y is equal to 0, uh, minus half becomes equal to minus half x becomes equal to minus 50. So x is equal to 100. The other point at which this graph passes is 100 comma 0. Let's draw 100 comma 0 and 0 50 on the line. 100 comma 0 would be somewhere here. 100 comma 0 and this would be 0 comma 50. So somewhere here this is 0 comma 50. Let's see. Let's join these two points. The shortest distance from origin on this point would be a perpendicular from here on this line. Let's say A, B, C. The perpendicular from B on C would be the shortest distance. Okay. Now let's try solving it. One way, there are many ways of solving it. One way that I can think of is to find the area of the triangle. Area of triangle is half into 50 into 100. Okay. So that's the area of triangle half into AB into BC and this, we should get the same value when we do a half into let's call this perpendicular P into the P is the shortest distance we require into AC. What would be the value of AC here? AB is 50. This is 100. So 50 square plus 100 square. Take 50 square common. We, you get 1 plus 4. Uh, take square root of this to find the value of AC. This is 50 square root 5. So this is 50 root 5. So half into P into 50 root 5 should still give me the same value of the area of the triangle. Half and half get cancelled. 50 and 50 gets cancelled. P is equal to 100 upon root 5 which is 20 root 5. 20 root 5. B is the right answer. Remember there are many ways of finding the value of P here. This is just one way of doing it. What's really important in this question is to imagine this and derive at this possibility that this is 50, this is 100 and we have to get to the value of P. Then there are many ways of doing it. B is the right answer.